Yeah, they're like, oh, kidding. we're in this state because of America. They just blame they the blame cultural demise. On America. Yeah, their own cultural demise on American incursion. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans reacting to Great Britain and we live in the UK. We make five new reaction videos a week, so hit that subscribe button now to get every one of them. Every Today, day. we're going to react to an, an interview of Stephen Fry by Craig Ferguson talking about America. Wow. Okay, so um, I guess you don't know Craig Ferguson, and maybe our no, British don't. viewers don't know Craig Ferguson. So he's a talk show host. He's a talk show host on American TV. Um, but he's British. He's, I think, Scottish. Oh. And um, he would be in the same slot as Conan O'Brien when Conan O'Brien was on after Jay Leno. Right. And he, um, and Conan O'Brien, if people don't know, is an American. Yeah, talk show talk host. Talk show host. Um, I don't know if they have late night talk show host here in the UK. I don't know because I'm not a TV Everything's shut license. at 8 p.m. here. Yeah. But <laughs> um, he was super funny. I preferred him over Conan. Really? They were on at the same time. Yeah, he I was prefer- really funny. I love But you, never, you didn't even know who I he was. I didn't know who Craig Ferguson is. Yeah. But I thought I have Conan to introduce you to Craig Ferguson, though. He's really funny. Okay. Anyway, he's interviewing Stephen Fry, and they're talking about America. One, two, three, go. You are, you are uh, I think, the quintessential Englishman, but yet you're very uh, American as well. Do you, do you have a place I, here, I, I take it, right? Yes, here in, here in Hollywood, uh, right. I love America. I used to live in, in New York and um, I have, have an apartment there. I, I absolutely adore this country. I, uh, like, like you, I, I feel I could live here for the rest of my life. Yeah, I've, I'm Perfectly completely I, smitten to you. But you're a citizen now, of course. I am, Just yeah. I, 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 would you do that? I would. I mean, I'm a resident alien at the moment, right. which is charming enough. And uh, and I I feel I feel pride in America. But then yeah. I felt pride in America before I even set foot here. It's a very I odd know, thing. I know. I know what you mean. You know, the, I would the... watch uh, movies and you know I know something like John Ford's Young Mr. Lincoln, and I would feel a sort of emotional whoop inside me as if. It was the founding of my country, and and America has that, you know. It's well, in in a way, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Because America is is a country founded by forward thinkers. I, as yeah. far as I know, it's the first real post enlightenment yes. country, right? And, yeah. and and certainly political system. And the idea that that, that I have. It began when I became a citizen. I did it very publicly. Mm. Well, as publicly as this show will allow. Yeah. And and I uh, I was fascinated. It was at the end of the, the Bush-Cheney uh, administration, and I was kind of interested to see how Mary- Americans had, were uh, on the point of being discouraged. Yeah. And I thought, That's, this, is, this is terrible yeah. in America, that, that people should be discouraged. Though, of all things, I think Americans are, are optimists, wouldn't yeah, you Yeah, that is, it's their abiding, cro- I mean, if there isn't a, 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 a sort of national American emotion, I would call it optimism. If there's a national English one, I would call it embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not yeah. pessimism, it's just yeah. shame, shame pessimism. embarrassment, confusion. Embarrassing. I, I, I said in, in the book that I noticed you have there, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, but, but, plug it. but that if we say... Uh, only in America, you hear that phrase. It yeah. always refers to something astounding, something new, novel, remarkable, brave, know. bold, zany, right. ridiculous, you know, colourful. <laughs> only in America. If you said only in Britain, <laughs> it would be something cold, like that's damp, horrible, yeah. Huey, only in Britain, yeah. negative. Oh God, only in Britain. Now, why? Why do you think that is? M- more, more so about the about the Brits than the Americans. I think the Americans. Really... It's an inter- it's a very interesting point, and actually, that thing we were talking about earlier, by, being bipolar. I don't want to bang that drum too much, but the, there is a theory, and it's a it's a beguiling one, which is that if you think of the population of America, with two incredibly important exceptions, that's to say, most of the black population mm-hmm. and the Native American population, right. the rest came here by choice. Right. They, they wanted to come. They wanted to leave Europe, mostly Europe, and come here and start a new life. So, in a sense, the gene pool is people who said, no, this isn't good enough. 
there can be something better. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving. And they left behind people who said, oh, I don't. No, oh, yeah, we will stay. I think we'll yeah. stay. So Europe is just basically a gene pool of, mm. of people whose ancestors said, oh, oh, I don't, I don't think I can risk. No, I can't risk it. America is a gene pool of people saying, let's risk it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try it. it. And you think that's still a I, I, th America? I feel it. It's certainly in the air. I mean, I wouldn't obviously establish it as an academic truth. No. Because it needs to be studied. But it's, it's a beguiling, as I say. It's, it's, a, it's a tempting way of looking at the difference. It's, it's certainly the only place that I feel kind of at home. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's, it, it is a, a wonderful wow. country. We have to take a break, though, because it is America, and you have to have to... Yeah, there is that side. Yeah, all right. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what strikes... So the, the thing that's interesting in a pair is what they said versus what Ricky Gervais said, which mm -hmm. is, oh, it's different because everyone's told they can be president. Mm -hmm. um, whereas... Uh, Stephen Fry says it's different because everyone here thinks it can be done. Things yeah. can be done. Mm. Um, like will, optimism. Yeah, optimism mm -hmm. versus embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> I, it is funny to think that th that his idea is that the people left behind in Europe are yeah, like, oh. of the gene pool of the mm, I don't. yeah yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> but that is what you are surrounded by at work. Here, yes. That mentality is the, mm. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> and the thing is, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. People have that mindset, ooh, that's not really going to get done. And so in their day-to-day -day actions at work, they act as mm -hmm. though... It's not going to get it's done. It's not going to get done. So might as well, I might as well not put 110% behind yeah. that effort. Yeah. So. See, I remember um, when I was working in America, um, let's go wait before when mm. I was in retail, okay? Mm. Mm. I remember thinking, they were asking me to do the impossible. I did yeah. feel like mm. I was um, processing clothes, which just means the clothes come in a box and in a bag, and then you have to take unpack it all, you have mm. to hang it up in the, the um, hangers and size them and put the yeah. little security pins on them. Yeah. Basically, that was my job. Um, mm -hmm. And they said you you need to turn around and process however many items per hour or something. Mm -hmm. And and I remember thinking, man, that is really difficult. Yeah. But I think it can be done. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, I was just like, just get totally into it. And yeah, yeah. And I was actually really good. I was the best in my the story. best. I was the Listen best. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, that mentality, I think, mm. it just feel. I feel like it's in my blood. Even though I'm... to be the best. No, no, no. To 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 to, to, to approach a problem. The challenge to face a challenge with the, the mindset, idea of it I can think be done. it can be done. Mm. Yeah, but might mm. as well see if we can push the boundaries here. And yeah, another example is so classical conversations is the homeschool curriculum that we use, mm. and it's from America. And this is the first time, first ever time in the UK where we have decided we're going to try to bring the books over and mm. sell within the UK. Mm. And I remember at that one of the meetings we were talking about Someone can it said. be done, right? Yeah. And they're like, oh, I don't know, maybe we should shoot for 2022. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah. But originally the, the person presenting said, well, I think we might be able to do it by this summer, 2021. Yeah. 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 And I could People, just hear the... Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course I did. I spoke and I said, I think it can be done. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I felt like... I feel like people just need to hear it more. Yeah, I don't know. And it did. And it get did. Done. It's happened. And yeah. now, if you are homeschooling, if you're home educating, and you want something that's within the UK, mm. the curriculum is is from within the UK. You mm. can go to classicalconversations.co.uk. There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> you can go to Classical Conversations. It's just really nice to hear Stephen Fry and Craig Ferguson They're talk really about... They're really positive about America. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. feel like most Brits are very negative, negative about America. Yeah. Most of our viewers are... <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, kidding. we're in this state because of America. They just blame they the blame cultural demise. On America. Yeah, their own cultural demise on American incursion, the the, the influence, the, the of, influence America. of American culture. The yeah. language is watered down because of America. <laughs> watered down. Yeah, the, the, the language accents? has become simplistic. The forms of speech, mm. the vocabulary that's used. Well, mm. the 
And he was like, and she was like, mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> I did remember that phrase is that, oh, and he said to me, mm. and oh, and she said That's to me. him. And yeah. He said, that, mm. that we don't use very much in America. So yeah. I do appreciate yeah. the formal And she said speech. to me. Yeah. 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 Like a book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Proper. <laughs> Speaking like a book. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave your favorite Stephen Fry clips in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.